Hi, my name is Dr. Miguel Moital. I am a consumer psychologist at heart and one of my recent research areas is FOMO. Over the years, the Department of Events and Leisure has developed a solid body of knowledge on this phenomenon and we have recently held the first workshop on FOMO in events. The workshop was attended by a number of Bournemouth-based event managers who had the chance to learn about the cutting-edge knowledge on FOMO and how it applies to event marketing practice. Much of the research we do is together with our students. And in the delivery of the workshop, I had the help of Helena, a final year events management student who did her dissertation on FOMO in events. So in order to satisfy the curiosity of those who were not able to attend the workshop, I asked Helena a few questions about FOMO and how it applies to the marketing of events. We are planning to stage future workshops, so if you are interested in taking part in one, please drop me an email to register your interest. Thank you very much for watching and I hope you enjoy the video. FOMO, to begin with, is a fear of missing out, but it actually isn't a fear. We've discovered it's a range of emotions that people experience when they are faced with triggers such as social media communication, peer-to-peer -peer communication, and they have to then make a decision as to whether they want to attend an event or not. So it's the fear of missing out, the anxiety and the guilt and the regret of missing out on event experiences such as togetherness, enjoyment and happiness. Organisations need to tap into these emotions and understand them and understand people's social media usage in order to heighten these emotions, heighten the negative emotions, heighten and show them what they will be missing out on in order to alter their decision of not to attend to attend. FOMO is becoming huge in events because now you can see everything that's going on on social media at the tap of a button you can go on your phone on your laptop and see what everyone else is doing so you are now people are now realizing so much more what they're missing out on and for event marketers they can actually use it to drive attendance to events by using the negative emotions that people are experiencing because their, their awareness has massively been increased through social media usage. We've um, realised that there's different approaches that be can, can be used to heighten and capitalise um, upon FOMO. So um, there's different communication approaches. There's explicit communication, so that is, you know, really pointing out the obvious, so the fact that they're going to miss out on the event, um, they're going to feel these emotions if they don't, maybe even to the point of using the acronym FOMO to generate some interest if people don't know what that acronym means, um, so further creating interest and awareness for the event. You've then got subtle um, communication, this might be just posting an after video of, of the event, and although it's not in your face, it's really showing the high points of the event, and it's kind of um, punishment communication, you know, they haven't attended, this is what they've missed out on. It can also generate conversation between individuals, so using opportunities at your event to generate peer-to-peer -peer communication online and offline, but I really think generating hype about the event, so using um, check-in services, using Snapchat filters, um, hashtags, will really generate generate awareness online and hype so that people are aware that their friends might be attending their, pe their followers and friends on these social media pages and um, in order to show that you know they're attending why aren't I to, in order to alter that decision.